Hello, everyone, and welcome to Investing and Trading Live. Once again, my name is Josh Lilquist. Today is the 15th of November, Wednesday to be exact, and markets continue to the upside. Markets looking to gap up ever so slightly on the this Wednesday morning after a monster of a day yesterday, which would have been Tuesday. Markets gapped up, and that was almost the lows of the day, especially for the S&Ps, and continuing to the upside. Some major moves in some other stocks were... Boy, you, you're seeing five, ten, you know, two, four, five, ten percent gains in certain stocks yesterday. So a monster of a day yesterday. Nordstrom's continuing to go to the upside, up nine and a half percent yesterday. That's what we're going to discuss here on the show on Investing and Trading Live. Wherever you're listening to the podcast, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or Spotify, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button and continue to follow the show. We do the show every single morning especially during the week. Make sure we get a market update for you every single week. That way you are up to speed on what is going on with the markets, not just the stock market. Talk a little bit about options, futures, forex, your commodities. Uh, We talk a lot about the dollar that drives a lot of price, bonds, just a lot of opportunities out there that people don't even think about. And hopefully helping you make smarter investing decisions. That being said, there is risk in trading investing. You can and will lose money at one point in your life. This is strictly for entertainment purposes only, mainly mine, but hopefully you find it entertaining as well. Let's get into our market update. S&P 500 closing the day yesterday at 448.73. We are currently about four minutes from the open and it looks like it's going to gap up, open up around 449.85. So the market gained about 1.94% yesterday on that monster of a day after CPI data showing that inflation has cooled in October. But if you look at the numbers, it just doesn't look right. And they, Could they be fudging them numbers? It's quite possible. But you know what? That, uh, that's why we focus our, our attention on the charts and make our decisions based off the charts, not the news. But we do want to know what's in the news because we can find some clues. That's your S&P 500 SPY ETF. Dow Jones Industrial Average, 348.42, up about 1.41% on the day, looking to gap up. It closed yesterday at 348.42, as I mentioned, and opening up right around 349.18 as we get three minutes from the open. So opening right near the highs of yesterday, getting to the the, uh, pivot high from back on September 14th. That is your Dow Jones Industrial Average. We got the Qs, the QQQ, the Nasdaq. Big big day yesterday. The, one of the leaders, but not quite the leader of the old indexes. You have two point one five percent gainer yesterday on Tuesday, three eighty five thirty three. Currently, looking to open up at three eighty seven fourteen. So gapping up above the highs of yesterday, right at that at that pivot high from back in July. So this one here showing a little more little more strength. But we will be if we if we pass this pivot here. You know what? I think we might see uh, flirting again, flirting with all time highs. That's your QQQ Nasdaq ETF. IWM, which is your your leader of the day yesterday, opening up at the low, closing almost exactly at the high. The way it looks, it, quite frankly, it might have been. Out five point four nine percent on the day yesterday, closing at one seventy eight forty six, and we are going to open right at the close from yesterday. Actually, looks like it's going to open up two cents down as of right now. That could change over the next one minute as the market opens. That's your IWM. This has been the lagger, not not near all time highs at all. Got a long ways to go with the IWM. That's the weaker of the three, but the strength, strongest yesterday. As far as other notable ETFs, XME, which is your mining and metals ETF, up 5%. XLB, up 2.95. XLU, which is utilities, almost 4%, 399 respectively. Gold was up 0.89%. We're looking at the ETF here. XLE, 0.89%. XLF, your financials, 1.89%. And rounding out your your ETFs, USO, which is oil, was down. The only, as far as my watch list, the only one that was down on the day and currently opening up down as well, about 1.2%. So that was your 
ETF and major market update since we look at the ETFs for the indexes, indices, however you want to call that. Um, well, it looks like they're all all in the green right now again, except for gold. Gold is right at the, right at zero. But USO up down down on the day again. So that's your major market update at ETFs. Getting into some stocks. Actually, before we do that, well, no, we don't need to note this because Bitcoin hasn't moved a whole lot. But still at thirty six thousand one hundred and seventy eight dollars per Bitcoin. HNT two dollars and seven cents. BH, BHG still a dog. Had rough earnings on September 7th, or sorry, November 7th. Notables today, nothing major. Airbnb up 1.5%. The UNG, which we talked about yesterday, up 2.5%, um, which is natural gas. Build a Bear up 1%. Cat up 1%. Nothing major as the market's opening here. American Airlines up over a percent. Boy, we had a nice options there. We totally missed that. Boy, I'm just kind of upset about that. But woulda, coulda, shoulda, that's the best trader in the game. Target. Ooh, we. Check this out. Target up 13.5% off earnings. Let's, let's look at the news. Um, or headlines. No major headlines in this platform. We'll peek out a different one. Let's see if I can find the news here. Thought I had a news stream here. Nope, whatever. But yeah, Target, great earnings yesterday. Surprise of a 42.47% to the upside on earnings and revenue a surprise of 0.45% at 113 million. So, wow, Target looking really good. We did some options on that a while back. I think we had the 100, no, 105 strike, I think it was. So, Target looking really good, 13% to the upside. Coming right out of that demand zone that we had talked about for so, such a long time. Just a beautiful play out of that. Check the archives. We, we talked about that probably back on maybe in May, June, and July. Just waiting for that. We did did one position on that. And uh, it's coming right out of that. So it took, it, it took a while though. September 26th all the way till now. So almost a month and a half to get out of there. But then again doesn't matter time does not matter in your trading investing it's price so way to go target disney up 2.8 percent we did some options on that a while back looks like back in july jwn which is nordstrom's that still can also continuing to the upside just beautiful coming into earnings here next week uh, we did an options play on that, so we'll see if that holds as we continue that. Macy's up 4%. Macy's doing well, but they got earnings coming up tomorrow, today. End of market today. No, before market open. Sorry, that's tomorrow. Thursday's tomorrow. Today is Wednesday. I even said that earlier. Tomorrow morning. Let's see what else we got. That's really all the notables to talk about today with the stock market. So let's look at the calendar for economic news. Um, let's go to the hot list. So volume gainers, Tesla is leading the volume gainers. Percent gainer, uh, let's see. Yeah, percent gainers, CL, sorry, C-U-T-R which is Katura, don't know, up 9%. View, I don't know any of these stocks. Usually the big, big gainers, you don't really know what they are. 
The big losers, FTEL, which is Fidel Corporation, down 21%. And none of the top ones really are anything that I've seen or heard of. So that's pretty pretty much the, the story. Let's go to the economic calendar. Retail sale is this for Great Britain. No major news today. Earnings calendar, November 15th. We have some therapeutics, some pharmaceuticals reporting. Target was today, or Target already happened yet today. Johnson and, or nope. Any other major notables? A lot of companies earning doing earnings today. Not sure exactly if there's any major ones, though. So that's that. Let's see if there's any ideas here. Going back here. Object tree, whatever that is. All right, let's get back to our hot list, our watch list. Go to the dollar. So the dollar is up today after a monster day to the downside yesterday. Down on the, off the highs from... Back in the beginning of October till now, we're down about 3%. That's, that's big for the dollar. So our dollar purchasing power has went down. That's why the stock market has been going up. We see up day today, so we might see a slight drop in the market today. S&P 500 oh, gapped up, and it's it's right at about, at about the open right now. So we'll see what happens as the day goes on with the stock market because the inverse correlation with the U.S. dollar, and I'm looking at the DXY, the Dixie, the dollar index. That being said, that's your market update for today, Wednesday, November 15th. As always, we will do a show tomorrow. Collect your profits when they're shown to you, and protect your losses keeping them small. Smash that like button and subscribe. Until next time, retire young, my friends.